What's up everyone? How are you guys doing in the Amina Nation today? This is a, a brand new video for you guys today because it is Veda Day 5 and I have a brand new book review I wanted to share with you. So we're, today we're going to be talking about a book called Barking Madness by Ryan Hill. Uh, the author was kind enough to send the book my way for an honest review and I'm going to give you my honest thoughts and opinions on this book. So without further ado, here is my review of Barking Madness. Barking Madness is a psychological thriller like no other before, as author Ryan Hill explores the psychology of modern day teenagers, uh, while also on analyzing the, the psychological effects of a teen going through a supernatural event. Here is the synopsis. 17 year old Rosetta Harper is played by Nightmares of a Masked Man. With her father's new career move, her family has just relocated from Florida to the small New England town of Ashwood, a quiet town and close-knit community where you know your neighbors and trouble is a word unspoken. But soon after her arrival, both Rosetta's world and the worlds of her classmates come crashing down. Meanwhile, Michael hates his family and feels alone and unloved. He only finds comfort when he's with his friends, but even they get on his nerves. Everything about Ashwood and his life bores him until Rosetta Harper moves into town. With her as a new classmate, Michael finally gets the excitement he was looking for, but it may be at too high a cost. Overall, this is actually a really well-written story. It, uh, the author did a fantastic job of uh, really getting into the mindset uh, modern teens and how the the hierarchy of the social teenage scene in high school uh, affects the way people interact with one another. The only minor criticism I would have for this story and for the author going forward is that the chapters did seem to be a little too long. Um, sometimes, and I know this as from experience, when you're writing a story can get so into the writing that you end up writing out too many details and sometimes uh, it is okay to leave things to the reader's imaginations and let them kind of fill in the blanks themselves. Uh, so the only suggestion I would make to the author is to maybe, uh, it might have benefited from a little bit more editing um, so that the, the chapters don't kind of draw on longer than they need to. But yeah, overall, I really did enjoy the story. It was an edge of your seat thriller uh, with characters the reader can either identify with or associate with someone in their life. Small town setting when mixed with uh, the high school teenage social scene and a supernatural and psychological event like no one else can imagine. Um, this is a really great book. I do have one word of warning for anyone who decides to read this book, that um, the, the story does delve into mental illness in this book, and something I think, I mean, I definitely have heard when I was in high school, and I'm sure it's still happening today in modern high schools, um, but teenagers have a very difficult time um, knowing how to approach things like mental illness, and can be really blunt and sometimes rude about how they address it and so while I believe it's a good representation of how it's being uh, represented in high schools nowadays uh, anyone who uh, feels like they could be triggered by um, less than politically correct uh, viewpoints of mental illness uh, might want to uh, see or clear this book because it is brought up a few times throughout the novel however if uh, it's not a trigger point for you and you guys are looking for a good psychological thriller mixed with supernatural elements, I do highly recommend Barking Madness by Ryan Hill. I give it an 8 out of 10 rating and I will be putting the link down below where you can buy it on any uh, or on multiple ebook formats. So I hope you guys will check it out. That's everything for Veda Day 5, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. In the comments below, let me know what you thought of the review and what books you would like me to check out next. 
Are there any popular books you're looking to get my opinion on? Leave your comments down below. If you want to read my full review of the book, go check out the link or my uh, blog down below with the rest of my social media links. Follow me on all my social media and on my blog and check out all my reviews there, including this one. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like this video. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And next to that's a little bell button. If you hit that, you'll get a notification every single time I upload a new video. I am so far uploading every single day for beta. Hopefully it keeps going strong. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging with me today, Avina Nation. Remember, keep hashtag hope alive. And I'll see you next time. Long days and pleasant night, my friends.